Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is George and today I'm going to give you the top five reasons that you should learn to play guitar over any other instrument. Reason number one is you have options when it comes to what kind of music you want to play. You can play rock, you can play jazz, you can play blues, you can play metal, you can play classical, you can play neo soul, you can, there's so many different genres you can play and I can't say that for every instrument. Okay, reason number two is just the amount of options that you have when you're choosing a guitar or maybe the amount of guitars that you want to have. You can play a big fat semi hollow guitar like this one. Now, I didn't tweak any of the settings on the amp. This is just a different guitar. So you're going to see this one's going to have a much brighter, twangier sound. If you're more of an acoustic player, you can get a sound like this without any amp. Say you play piano. How many keyboards or pianos you know can you really have? And does it make that drastic of a difference? Usually, if you have one really good keyboard, it has many sounds in it, and you just need the one. But that doesn't really scratch the itch for a new instrument or instruments that can do different things to that one. And say you play classical piano and you need a grand piano then it becomes a logistical size problem. The same thing with a double bass or a large instrument, you know, like the tuba. Guitars are thin and are easily stacked. Think about it. Reason number three, effects and effects pedals. As a guitarist, this is one of the most addicting things to buy and they're also unique and cool. There's no shortage of effects for your guitar and that for me is it's really fun to play with. It's really fun to write music with and to emulate some of, you know, the epic tones of your guitar heroes. Guitar pedals and effects are just a lot of fun. And it's one part that makes guitar playing a lot of fun. Let me show you some of my favorite effects pedals that I own. This one will give you a nice delay. So it'll repeat the thing that you play after you play it, which is really useful. This one, a tremolo pedal, will rhythmically modulate the sound of your guitar so it'll sound like it'll, it's coming in and out really fast and it creates a really trippy sound. This one will just turn you into Eddie Van Halen. Supposedly. Okay, so I'm not quite at a Van Halen, but it's fun to try. <laughs> Number four. The guitar is a very visceral and intimate instrument. Now hear me out. In the left hand, we're holding down the note that we're playing. And in the right hand, we're plucking that note. So we have so much control and we're so close to the notes that we're actually playing. So the guitar is 
an interesting instrument because we're plucking a string that we're holding. And so the lifeline of that note is coming right from the tips of our fingers. So that means we can shake that string, we can bend that string, and we have a really close connection to that note. For some instruments, that's not the case. I'm not picking on the piano because it does a lot of great things, but when you press that key, a hammer hits a string, and so there's a disconnect there. The violin has also very, you know, a very vocal-like quality because you, your finger's on the string and you're bowing uh, the string, so you're very close as well, but the violin isn't polyphonic. You're not playing chords. It doesn't have that versatility. So reason number five is portability. It's an instrument you can throw on your back and bring wherever you want to bring it. And the volume level is nearly perfect for, you know, a small gathering or group when you're playing an acoustic guitar. When you're playing an electric guitar and you amplify it, you can get it anywhere from bedroom levels to arena levels. And that makes it really versatile and really good to use in almost any situation. Let's ask Ludwig what he thinks about the guitar. What do you think, buddy? Can't argue with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And let me know what instruments you play. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya. She puts the poison to her lips And I try to avoid that drunken kiss The toxins